Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be doing a November, December book haul. I waited too long to do a November book haul just by itself. And it's almost Christmas. It is my birthday. I'm filming this on the 21st. This is the second video I'm filming today, so that's why I'm saying it again. But most of these books you've already seen, most of them or a good bit were in my December TBR because I'm doing blog tour spots and some are from Dollar Tree hauls and then others are from subscription boxes that you've already seen. But I want to show you again and whatever books I get after this video after Christmas will be in my Christmas haul. And Actually, I'm going to show you the books I got today for my birthday, too, which was, I think, one. Let's get started. I am going to be unboxing two more pieces of book mail that I got today for blog tour spots that I'm doing next month. So the first one is, and these are from Penguin Random House. So the first one is Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian. This is book two in the... Ash Princess series. I um, requested Ash Princess from the library. I'm going to be reading that after I read Slayer and then I can get to this. Or I might read Ash Princess after I get to Slayer. I don't know. But yeah. This is my blog tour spot for January 18th, I think. I think so. I'll leave my blog tour dates down below. Then the second one is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. I also requested uh, One of Us is Lying um, from the library. And yeah, I'm going to be reading One of Us is Lying after Slayer because this blog tour spot is on the first. I can do this. And I'm in the middle of uh, Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful. And that is such a good book. It's about clones and science fiction stuff. It's awesome. Actually, here it is. I'm reading this one. It's so good. It is by Erwin Elise Dayton. And I started it yesterday, and I'm already on page 68. It's, it's not what I expected, but... It's damn good so far. The only con I have is that it is very religious. And it, it fits because cloning, it, people say, oh, Jesus wouldn't want that. And yeah, but I'm enjoying it so far. And yeah, you'll hear about this in my December wrap up. All right, I'm just going to show you the stack. I'm just, I'm not going to go in any particular order because I'm in a hurry. Uh... My kids are at my parents for the night, and me and Casey are going to be wrapping presents as soon as Casey gets back from Walmart from buying cat litter. We dumped Snow's cat box, and we forgot that we were out of cat litter. The next book I'm going to show you is Slayer by Kirsten White. It is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer retelling, or it's set in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer world. This is from Lit Pick. This is Sammy's review copy, and we're going to be reading it soon after we get done with Grump or before Grump ends. I'm not really enjoying that book, but that will be in my December wrap up. But yeah. And I wanna rewatch Buffy with the girls. Because I was Sammy's age when I started watching it. She'll like it. And plus the vampires are coming back. What? There's so many books next year coming out centered around vampires. So hopefully we don't have another Twilight Saga phase. This is another one that I got for a blog tour spot yesterday on the 20th. So I will link it down below. But it is Love All in Mode. And it was such a cute, fluffy contemporary. If you want to know my thoughts now, go read my blog post. But if you want to wait, just... you come back during my December wrap up but this was so good five out of five it was the perfect Christmas read or if a Valentine's Day read if you want to wait 
The next one is a kind of a psychological thriller suspense. And that is Deadfall by Stephen Wallenfels. I enjoyed this. It, it's about these two teenage twin boys who uh, was left by their mom, has an abusive drunk alcoholic, bleh, who has an abusive alcoholic father who ends up becoming a junkie and um, their house catches on fire and he ends up being murdered and they go to a foster family. And yeah, it's good. Highly enjoyed it. I give it a 4 out of 5 or a 4.5 out of 5. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to have to read uh, the author's second book or first book called Dead Wall, I think. But it has the same, or no, Bad Cell. Or no, it's called Bad Call. It's in the back of the book. Bad Call. And okay, this woods this has like a lone tree and yeah so good I'm gonna have to pick up the first one this may be a new auto buy author for me if you've watched my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul then you've seen these next two books so I'm not gonna go into much detail because I don't know anything about them except that one is a companion and that I don't have to read the remnant series to or the remnant chronicles to read this book so that book is Dance of Thieves by Mary U. Pearson. It's a brick. But I may want I may I might read the Remnant Chronicles to be introduced to the world so I don't go in blind because I know most companion series are set that are set in the same world as some worlds or some other series. They go right into the magic system and some people don't know what the hell is going on. Like uh, people say you don't have to read the Grisha Trilogy to go and start Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. And I learned from books with Emily Fox that she went right into uh, Six of Crows and it went straight into the magic system without explaining it. And so, um, yeah. Long story short, I'm going to read the Remnant Chronicles before I read this one. And then the next one is Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McLemore. I am in love with this cover. It is so pretty. It's about swans, maybe. And yeah, I have the little uh, uppercase bookmark. The book that I did a blog tour on last month yeah and it is how she died how I lived it's about these five girls who were texted by this one guy named Kyle and he ends up one of the girls only one ends up texting him back and hanging out with him he ends up brutally raping and murdering her and he's in jail and the four surviving girls are trying to get on with their lives and move on and the narrator we never know her name and she's trying to get through survivor's guilt she is getting in a relationship with the dead girl's former boyfriend and yeah so good it was i wish it would have been darker but i still enjoyed it and then this is by mary crockett i've already linked this blog tour in a previous video. I think it was my November wrap up. So go watch that and go to that blog post. And then this is another uh, blog tour that I did but we didn't get the review copies in time so all the people who had review spots had to do excerpts instead. And then the day of my blog tour I got this book and I have not read it yet but it I'm going to be reading it with the kids and I'm going to get the first book because my kids are learning about uh, the Revolutionary War uh, figures like Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, uh, John Adams. And so this one is Eleanor Roosevelt's In My Garage by Candace Fleming and I think the first one in this little series is uh, Ben Franklin's In My Bathroom. Or my bathtub. Haven't read this one yet. I'm going to read it with the kids. Probably when we get 
when they start learning about uh, FDR and Eleanor Roosevelt and that time period. So they can be more interested. The next book I'm going to show you I got from the Little Free Library. I got it for Sammy. And the cover made me think it was a graphic novel, but it's uh, like a novelization. It has some illustrations in it. And that is Nerds, the Cheerleaders of Doom. It is book three in a series, which I didn't know at the time. I just grabbed it because we were parked on the side of the road and that freaks me the hell out. But it, the cover intrigued me. And she's interested, so I'm going to have to find book one and book two for her. She told me that. She was like, Mom, you need to get me book one so I know what's going on. And I was like, chill your roll, you little freaking teenager. She'll be 10 in April. And she's already got a tood. But, yeah. Let's see. I like how this looks. And she does too. This one reminds me kind of like Powerpuff Girl. Buttercup black and uh, green with the hairdo. And then the next three books are from Alcrate. The first two came in Sammy's November Alcrate. And it was the first graphic novel that they'd done, which was Sanity and Tallulah by Molly Brooks. And it's all in blue and pinks. And then they also gave a second book in that box, which was a paperback. It wasn't a new release, but it was by an author that we read this year and we need all of her books. It's Pie in the Sky by Wendy Mass. It, if you watched my uh, freebie haul, then you saw that I got a mango shaped space from Very Dice for free. And that's another book that we got this month from the same author. And we absolutely love her writing. And so we can't wait to get to this one. And the book that Addie got this month in her owl crate was The Polar Bear Explorers Club by Alex Bell and illustrated by Thomas Love Tomek. We're going to be reading this one sometime in February or late January. I don't know. It's going to, those are our two coldest months here. And that's when we start getting iced and all that stuff. And then the last few books I'm going to show you are from the Dollar Tree haul that you should have seen before that is already up on my channel. So I will link that down below. So I'm not going to go into much detail. Okay. I know y'all hate that sound of crunching bags. But the first one is Such Sweet Thunder by Vincent O. Carter. Migratory Animals by Mary Helen Specht. Super Notes by Agent Casper and Luigi Carletti. Dove Arising and Dove Exiled, both by Karen Bow. Book one and book two in a series. I don't know what a series is called. And then my Dollar Tree jackpot that I was so obsessed with. And I have not went back to that Dollar Tree since. And I should go but I don't know when I'm going to do that. And that is Magnus Chasing the Gods of Asgard, book two, The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would love to chat to you down in the comments. What books did you get for November and December? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. With